vinegar syndrome time. This time around, didn't get that much, but uh, it's a thing that I did. Vincent is here. Not the man Vincent, um, Kennedy McMahon, vinegar syndrome. So I cut this open already, didn't unbox it yet, just to save some time. Didn't get that much. Uh, this is the Vinegar Syndrome post Black, Fly Black, Black Friday arrivals. All right, so it's a small one. I pretty much have everything I want from Vinegar Syndrome. So there was like four titles I grabbed. So it's nothing too crazy, but I got another unboxing for you that's gonna drop later tonight. That's super dope. And it's a bunch of vinyls. Well, it's, yeah, a bunch of vinyls. But let's get right into it, all right? Got a little stack that I spent almost a stack on because everything is so fucking expensive. Uh, so we got the lost films of Herschel Gordon Lewis. This is just a slip cover. Where's my dog at? Hello, dog. <clears throat> Which I feel like it's gonna fall apart as soon as I do this to it. Ugh. All right, no, that's fine, that's fine. We got this, we got this. Anyway, slip cover. I love this color uh, palette that they used. The colors are just gorgeous. I love this. Look at this. Beautiful. Love it. Um, didn't get the movie. Just got the boom. Just got the slip. Uh, I already have the movie and it's terrible. It's awful. You don't want to watch them. I, I don't recommend them. Uh, I do recommend this. Tammy and the T-Rex. And I know it says Tammy. But uh, that's because they made an error originally in the VHS releasing, I believe. So this is the comic book cover, which uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not uh, that crazy about. Let's see if I uh, can get it to zoom in. Not zoom in, but focus. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy on this one. Not a fan of the slip cover though, but it looks better in person, if I'm being honest. Like, I like how... I don't know if you can see or not, but the texture of the paper they used is old, like worn out comic book feel. Like it even has like a coffee stain on the side. Look at that. On the spine, it's got a coffee stain. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, not so much the slip cover, but I love the idea. Inside the 4K, uh, I had the 101 films releasing of this, or the Blu-ray, but... Uh, it's a, it's a good movie. I feel like, you know, not everything deserves to be on 4K, but this is a very colorful film. Once again, dinosaurs and all kinds of crazy shit in there. Um, so I feel like this is, this is okay. This is an okay. I'm okay with this upgrade. So let's set that to the side. Uh, the Doll Squad and Mission Kill Fast. Don't know anything about this. Absolutely love Love, love these colors. Holy shit, this looks beautiful. Look at the back. Ugh, gorgeous. The spines, oh my God. Look at these colors. Woo! Um, the Doll Squad, I believe it's like a, I don't know, it's like a Charlie's uh, Angels, prior to Charlie's Angels, I guess, because this is from like the 60s or 70s. Yeah, 73. Um, but it's like a cheap grindhouse-y version of it, I'm assuming. But from my understanding, it's not like, it doesn't have too much nudity in there. It's not like anything crazy. Um, it's not a porno or anything. And uh, Mission Kill Fast, I don't know a goddamn thing about it. But I'll give it a watch. I, I mainly, honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I got it for the artwork. It, it looked dope. Once again. All right. Coco D. Coco Da. Uh, this was on Shudder. Um, I never watched it, but I love surreal films, and this definitely uh, qualifies as a surreal film. From the trailer, I would say. Again, you might be more familiar with this cover, because this was on Shudder. Um, this is one of their newer movies. I believe this is a partner label, Dark Star. Yeah, this is their second releasing from Dark Star Entertainment. Um, can you hear my bird screaming upstairs? Do it again. Do it again. Do it. Do it again. All right, he's on that. But uh, anyway, Coco D. Coco Da. Uh, definitely want to check that out. It seems like it's similar to like 
David Lynchian, Alejandro Wodrowski, you know, people like that. So anyway, last one, the main one that I was looking forward to that everyone is showing off. Whoo, Roadhouse. God damn. Holy shit, man. This thing is beautiful. Look at this. Severin. Uh, you were charging $55 for that regular slip. More than this, I believe. I love Severin, but come on, man. Come on, man. $55 for 4K with a regular ass slip is a bit much. This, I can understand for $50, which it wasn't even $50. This was like $42. Bucks. But uh, once again, it has the magnet. Um, I love these. These are the VSU number four. So, absolutely love these. Number one was Beastmaster. Number two was, uh, shit, what was it? Uh, whatever Samurai. It was garbage. And I believe the third one was uh, Ninja, New York Ninja. So the fourth one is uh, Roadhouse, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I love this. This looks gorgeous. Look at this. And I'll show you guys some uh, close-ups of it. But it comes with a booklet and stuff. But let me show you the inside first. Look at that. Woo! Look at that back cover. And it comes with a little bookmark too, which is dope. Helps you uh, lift it up. So you can get everything out. Um, got the booklet, nothing too crazy. Uh, definitely will give you guys some uh, close-ups of this. And of course, we have the 4K, I believe. Is this a 4K? Is this a 4K? Yeah, it is a 4K. Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze, fucking Terry Funk is in this movie. I mean, what else do you want? Terry Funk in a vinegar syndrome Releasing. Ah, amazing. With that said, my dog is done shitting in the yard and I have to let him in. So once again, Roadhouse, Coco D, Coco Da, The Dollhouse slash Mission Kill Fast, and Tammy and the T-Rex, which it says Tammy, I know, I know. It's not a, it's not a misspell, it's, it's on purpose. And the lost films of Herschel Gordon Lewis. So with that said, until next time, Peace out.